Welcome to Networking Arizona with host Carol Blonder. You'll hear interviews with businesses located throughout the valley. Networking, it makes a difference. If I traded it all. Welcome to the show, everyone. We are live on Facebook, so I do want to say hi to everybody out there. And you can actually watch me now on on these videos. We're having really fun, a lot of fun with this. Also, you can watch us doing the show right in here live right now while we're doing the show here through the radio to everybody out there. Uh, you go on to Facebook and just put in Networking Arizona, and you can watch us in here doing it right now. I have with me Jenna Bailey, and she's the founder of Bailey Law Firm. You know, I will, first off, I want you to tell everybody a little bit about the law firm and how you are sort of a one time, uh, you know, a, a one stop shop for everybody. Sure. So we're intended to be a one stop shop for regular people and small business owners. So we can handle whatever needs somebody has throughout their life. We like to establish those long term relationships with clients so they don't have to sort of find a new law firm or attorney every time something comes up. Really very important because, you know, sometimes things kind of intertwine with one another and all of the different areas of law that you practice are what? Uh, state planning, business law, real estate law, personal injury law, which includes medical malpractice and elder abuse cases. So pretty much almost anything that you right. need. Okay, now you have three locations, Tucson, Tempe, and Scottsdale. The website is baileylawfirmaz.com. Write this number down because you just never know when you're going to need an attorney, a reputable attorney, really important, uh, 480-681-5408. So today you said you really want to talk a, a little bit about business law. So let's talk a little bit about it and, you know, what? why would somebody need a business law attorney? And especially a small business law attorney. Uh, we handle small to medium-sized businesses and a lot of people think, oh, if I just, you know, it's just me or I just have some contractors or, you know, one employee, why would I ever need an attorney? Um, well, contract review is a common example. So any business, big or small, engages in the marketplace in some way. You have some interaction with, with clients with customers, with vendors, with employees, with contractors. So a lot of times, even if you don't have a contract in place for those interactions, it's something that you should. So one of the, the most common things we get with you know true small businesses is contract review, contract drafting type I work. I was just going to ask you, do you do that? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, we either draft them, so something comes up and they say, hey, um, you know, I want to work with a new vendor and they're asking me for my contract and I don't know what they're talking about. Well, we'll know what they're talking about and we'll be able to drop it. And you don't need to be a large size company to have an attorney, but you need to have an attorney because if you don't, it's always when some, when you don't, when something, you know, there's a glitch in something and all of a sudden now you are scrambling and you don't want to. A lot of new businesses are forming mm -hmm. right now. It's a new year. A lot of people are going to be doing this. And what are your thoughts on how, to, how can you help somebody who is starting and should they have contracts? They should, and we can definitely help businesses form. So we can help file the documents on the Arizona Corporation Commission's website that's needed to file, um, as well as handle the intra-company documents. So if it, you know you and a partner are wanting to start a business, you need a contract amongst each other to understand what that business relationship is going to look like. Their phone number to call, it's 480-681-5408. They have three locations, two Tucson, Tempe, and Scottsdale, and you do review these things. You do that for people. You need to have them reviewed if you have one. If you don't understand one, they can help you understand that as well. Uh, their phone number, again, it's 480-681-5408. The website is baileylawfirmaz.com. So I want to go in and say, why does a small business then you say they need one, but what then explain to them what a business attorney is I mean what what one is so it's it's a lawyer who's going to be able to handle a variety of legal questions that come up in the context of running your business so a lot of times my relationship starts with a business when they're starting or growing are some of the t the two probably most common uh, points of involving someone like me and growing because you know maybe you've been in business a number of years and have never had an employee and now you want to have your first employee and you have questions about that 
that? Do they need to be a W-2 employee or a 1099? If I have a W-2 employee, do I have to uh, provide paid time off? Do I have to give sick time? You know, questions like that. Do I need an agreement? I think that's important. I mean, you don't know. The things that we don't know is what you, you don't know what you don't know. I like to say that to people. And it, it, you brought that up. I mean, a lot of people might, uh, right now are hiring people. They want to hire people. And the, they don't know. Do you need? What do I need? A WT form. What do I need to do this? And they can help. I also want to talk to you about people who might be also uh, thinking about closing a business. I want to mm-hmm. talk about that because, you know, obviously these kinds of things happen too. What do they need to prepare for that? And do they need a contract? Sure. So we handle the back end of businesses a lot, whether it's a sale. So a lot of times, uh, you know, you're able to sell your business to an employee within the business, sell to a third party, or just close up shop and dissolve it. And dissolution of of a business is a a formal legal process with steps that need to occur. Um, Obviously, if you're selling to anyone, there would be a purchase contract in place. So there's definitely legalities that go on with any way that you're sort of winding down the business. So again, what I stress is that it's so important. I love this show because of the information that's on here. It may be today. It may be tomorrow. You never know when you're going to need something like this, but you bring up some good points. And what this is what it is. It's food for thought, right? And especially, I love the, uh, the fact that if you are hiring, what do you need to make sure, and especially if you're a small business just growing, that's when you really don't know. Well, and you don't want to misclassify an employee. That's one of the biggest questions we get for small business owners who are hiring is, should I classify this person as a W-2 versus a 1099? And there's a lot of legal factors that go into that. That's not just a, you know, yes or no question. So I like to learn about my client's business. What is the the worker going to be doing? What's their schedule going to look like? So on and so forth. So I have a question. Let's say somebody who's had a uh, an employee for a while, but they didn't even think about that. Maybe they've been paying them a different way. You right. know, I don't know, under the table, whatever. Uh, at, is it too late? Or no. Let's talk about that. Yeah. No, it's never too late to, to do it properly. Um, we have ways of navigating it if we're sort of correcting. Yeah, where we thought, okay, maybe, you know, this person should have been a W-2. They haven't been. But, you know, from here on out, we're going to do it correctly. Right. And what's what I love about it is once you have done it now, you are you feel there's a sense of relief. Right. Right. And you know that you're doing it correctly. The IRS wants you to know <laughs> that you're doing it correctly, but also all of the different things that you might need a contract for. You need a business attorney, and you make sure that you know one that's reputable. What I love about them is they are a uh, one-stop shop, so you never know when that business, you could be in a marriage in with the business mm-hmm. and end up in a divorce now you definitely need an attorney for two th- different things right, right? <laughs> you know and so this is what they've done they've kind of made it a one stop shop for everybody uh, their phone number again it's 480-681-5408 baileylawfirmaz.com when you work with people what especially when it comes to this you got to get to know them mm-hmm. right what does it look like they call you what real quickly what what does that look like? Just a consultation? How does it look? Right. A a free consultation, learn about your business, uh, advise you on the different things I think you should put in place to help. And then obviously, you know, based on the economics of the business, we're going to kind of prioritize for you and get the most important things in place. Put the number in your phone under reputable attorney. That phone number is 480-681-5408. She's rated with the Better Business Bureau. She has three locations. It's Tucson, Tempe, and Scott. Scottsdale. Their phone number again, it's 480-681-5408. The website is baileylawfirmaz.com. And these are things to think about, especially right now. It's the end of the year. Make sure that you have everything in place. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to talk further. Hang tight. We'll be back in just a minute. someone close to you passes, the grief can feel overwhelming. So when it comes time to make the necessary preparations for your loved one, you can rely on Angel Cremation and Burial in Mesa. Our caring and professional staff knows you're going through a lot. 
so we focus on helping you understand your options. You only pay for what you truly need. To learn more about our many cremation and funeral services, call 480-962-6435. 480-962-6435. Angelscremationandburial.com. Knowing every client is different, Anna von Strassenberg, CPA, PLLC, prides herself by offering ethical, accurate, and professional guidance when it comes to accounting, tax, and consulting services like tax return preparation, tax projections, proactive tax planning, IRS representation, QuickBooks, Pro Advisors, and more. For more information or to schedule a free consultation, call 480-964-4030. That's 480-964-4030. Services available year-round, ArizonaCPAs.com. Are you in the market for a new home in Arizona, or are you looking to upsize? Brad Tate with Nexa Mortgage has over 15 years experience providing comprehensive mortgage services, so you get the best rate and the lowest fees on your mortgage loan. When you're ready to make your home ownership goals a reality, give Brad a call at 602-510-6297. That's 602-510-6297. Visit BradleyTateMortgageLender.com. Hey, this is Howie. And me, Javi. Bravo Insurance Agency offers financial and lifestyle protection for those you love from an agency you can trust. Gain the financial lifestyle security you deserve. Proudly serving individuals, families, veterans, and America's small business community since 1985. For a free, no obligation consultation, call us at 480-316-7862. That's 480-316-7862. Like us on Facebook. Tired of paying high hourly fees when you need a plumber? With Cobra Plumbing, you get the same great service as the other guys, but you pay by the job, not the hour. So if you have a residential plumbing issue, don't wait. Call Cobra Plumbing today. Plus, our work is guaranteed. So call us today for your free estimate. Call 602-663-8432. That's 602-663-8432. To see a list of our complete service offerings, go to cobraplumbing.net. If you own rental properties anywhere in the Valley, Denali Real Estate can provide you with the best overall value, guaranteed. Denali Real Estate Property Management offers 6% management fee, no startup fees, no long-term contracts, and a money-back guarantee. Mention KFNX and we'll fill your first vacant property for free. Please call 480-626-4062. That's 480-626-4062. Or visit our website, DenaliArizona.com. If I traded it all Welcome back, everyone. And we're talking with Jenna Bailey, and she's the founder of Bailey Law Firm. We're talking about business law, and it's a perfect time to come on. First of all, there's a lot of people right now that are getting all your paperwork together and things that you may or may not know whether or not you have the right stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Also, people, anytime that you are dealing with anyone where there's contracts involved, you need to make sure that you have a reputable attorney that can help you with this. Don't try and do things on you. A lot of people will try and call, you know, go up on Google and try and get their answers that way. And again, we want to stress that you don't need to be a big, big business in any way. They like to work with small to medium sized businesses. Uh, at the break, I was talking to you a little bit about um, people who are starting. We were talking about new businesses. It's a wonderful time to make sure that you have an attorney, even when you're just thinking about something. One of the things that you talked about that you can help with this is the LLCs and how important that is to do a lot of people start businesses without ever doing it right <laughs> that gives me heartburn <laughs> yeah a lot of I mean if you're doing anything that you're selling a good or service to anyone you really should have an LLC there's really no reason not to it's not very expensive um, the state's fee is even you know even if you do it expedited it's less than a hundred dollars and our fee for uh, starting an LLC including all the paperwork and filing fee starts at 575 for the total package, which again includes that state fee, uh, so there's really no reason not to have that in place. Even if you know if you if you bake cookies at home and sell them, that's a business. If you're going to be in business, let's do it right. Right. Even if you view it as a side hustle, you know it, it's still legally you're putting out there, putting yourself out there in the marketplace where you could have some liability. Well, and you know this is the thing that I want people to understand. You just mentioned something that that brought something to my mind. Uh, the IRS 
does want you to make sure that you are doing things the right way. Uh, they you may they may not ever come to you, mm-hmm. but they also may, you know. Right. And you never know when that can happen. And the thing that I love about it is that once, like I said before, once you do it, it makes you feel different too. Mm-hmm. You know, and have a bona fide business. It's all uh, registered and all of that. And it's a great price uh, because really, I know I remember when I did mine. That was a long time ago. So I think it's a great price. And people, uh, listen up. We need to make sure that you do these things because it could cost you more in the long run right and most things we do are are going to be very uh, economic for small businesses i try really hard you know behind the scenes to put efficient processes in place and pass those savings that we have on to the consumer uh, because it, small business is really important to me it's you know it's the backbone of our economy it provides so many jobs so many great ideas and it's really important to me to make legal services accessible to small business owners their phone number to call, it's 480-681-5408, baileylawfirmaz.com. They have three locations, Tempe, uh, Tucson, and Scottsdale. And so you can reach them from anywhere, you know, obviously. And listen up, people. I'm telling you right now, if you're a business, if you have already been in business and you haven't put things in place, get it done. You'll be so much happier that you have. If you deal with contracts in any way, or you should be dealing with them, or are going to be, make sure that you have a reputable attorney that can help you through these things. Because one little, little slip up could cost you a a lot of money and that's something that you don't want to have happen tips I want to talk about some of the tips that you said for small business owners that you have sure and one of the things backtracking a little bit another common thing that we help business owners with is disputes or potential disputes and that sort of goes in line with tips as well Uh, we help business owners navigate either internal disputes so you know the two owners are in a dispute or three owners or whatever or disputes with customers you know it customers not paying me we do this a lot with the trades you know contractors and things like that where they do the work on the home and now the customer doesn't want to pay Um, so we help you know the small business contractor navigate those issues so one of my tips is as soon as you have even a potential dispute brewing either internal or external give us a call because my goal is always to minimize my first step is not let's go sue somebody right we can do that and we've been successful with it but that's never going to be for a small business owner my first piece of advice Mm -hmm. i'd love to be involved as early as possible with a potential dispute so that we can really help mitigate the time and expense involved with resolving it put the phone number in your phone it's 480-681-5408 i want to explain something to people because if it can happen to me it could happen to anybody, right? And I started a small business, and I'm going along. I'm 15 years is a long time, and all of a sudden, after like maybe 10 years, something out of the blue happened because the laws change, right? And it wasn't, there was no way that person was going to win in any way. But they came in here and they thought something could happen and boy oh boy was I happy that I could you know turn to somebody and it's important that you know that you have rights you know to make Mm -hmm. sure that oh you know can't get scared a lot of people think with attorneys oh my god cha-ching cha-ching and they're going to keep it going and this and that and you're totally different that's not the way you do things right I give a lot of advice where it's just a free consult and I tell them how to handle it on their own and you know obviously I don't don't get paid on that but to me it's it's I want I would rather that they succeed and you know down the road when they need me for something that right you know is compensable then it. you know it, what goes around comes around absolutely so I'm going to give the best advice regardless of how it impacts me and my point too is is that look our everything changes and people are people right and uh, sometimes things happen where they're looking to do these things and or you know let's say if you're having dispute with in your company oh my god I'm sure that happens so much it does. and you have you you want to make sure that you do everything especially today I think it you know years and years and years ago was sort of different now today you have to make sure that you're 
T's are crossed, your I's are dotted, and everything is done properly. Because if it's not, it comes back to bite you. Is that correct? And it actually helps prevent disputes. So the more formal that you do things, the less likelihood of a dispute down the road. And I constantly tell clients this, especially with family. So, you know, you want to start a family business or you have two family members that want to go into business together and they're like, well, you know, we're family. We'll just sort of handshake it. It's like, well, what about a misunderstanding that, you know, can blow up into this huge issue? Whereas if we've sat down and memorialized in some document what your agreement is, then down the road, everyone can just go look at that document and you're not going to have a big dispute. Right. So even with, especially with family, I tell people, oh, do it buttoned up. Absolutely. I mean, that old gentleman's handshake is just gone. Right. Right. <laughs> it just truly it's just is. asking for trouble. So what other um, in tips that you might have for them? What other ones that you might want to bring up? So one of my biggest is to have an LLC regardless of what you're doing. So the big thing I, co- I come across is uh, like rentals. So if you are if you have a long term rental or if you have a short term rental that is a business, please ha- use an LLC. What we do is we put the property in the LLC. So the LLC actually owns the property Good that they're point. renting out. Um, so a lot of people don't think that's a business. Business, it is. Let's get an LLC in place. Um, another tip that I have is making sure I mentioned this earlier, but the classification of workers um, is a big issue that I see. So please call us if you're hiring and you're not sure how to classify them. Um, another thing has to do with terminating employees. I get a lot of questions from small business owners, especially if it's the first time that they've terminated somebody, um, what documentation they should have, whether they're allowed to. You know, a lot of people think that you're not allowed to determinate someone unless it's for cause and you know we can walk through those issues so those are some of the um, kind of main calls that we get oh I, I you brought up some really good points another thing that you when you brought up the um, long-term or short-term rentals boy oh boy do you need to make sure when you have people that are going to be living or staying in your home or the place that you're renting oh boy you better make sure you have everything and I know you help with that too yeah absolutely we have a lot of real estate investor clients um, and it's you know if you think about it especially for short-term running you're having strangers you know live stay on your property you're, they're going to fall they're going to have trouble with the pool you know god forbid drown or something like that so you better make sure that you got all your contracts straight contracts uh-huh. and your llc in place and yep. everything is up to snuff and that is in also whether you have been in business for a long time it doesn't really matter she said it's never too late it's never too late and a lot of times people come to us when they're sort of at a point that they have more issues. I mean, mm-hmm. if you think about it, the more customers you have, the more vendors you work with, the more employees you have, just statistically, you know, the chances of having the need for legal advice goes up. Absolutely. I think she brought up some really good tips for people out there, uh, especially when we're coming to, let's say, you're hiring or or you want to make sure that you've got your employees all on the right W-2s or whatever forms those are. Also, when you are firing, that's important, too, today. Day, let me tell you, they're gonna. They everybody knows the system now, you know. So you right. got to make sure everything is in place. If you're starting a new business, it's a new year, it's a new you. Let's start it off right on the right foot. They have three locations: it's uh, Tucson, Tempe, and Scottsdale. Their phone number to call: it's four eight zero. Six eight one five four zero eight. The website is Bailey Law Firm AZ dot com. They're rated with the Better Business Bureau. She does free consultations. And you know what? It is a new year. It's a new you. Talking about businesses, it's the best time to right now to be talking about it. Make sure you have everything in place and give them a call. It's four eight zero six eight one five four zero eight.